my creative crafty friends, this is Gloria Plunkett with designsbygloria.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here to share a fun, quick project with you. Um, this is going to be what I call a stove treat holder. Let me show you what I mean. This little stove, is that not adorable? Well, this is a big one actually. So this big stove will store a huge muffin a mini tiny bunt cake or anything like that of your choice. It's a cute little gift that you can give someone in the form of a treat box. Here's the medium size stove treat box I created. Is that not adorable? This will hold a nice little cupcake and I also created this little cutie patootie. Isn't that adorable? This one will easily hold a Ferrero Rocher candy. And this is the one I'm going to show you because it's easier to uh, keep this in my camera view for you. What I've done is I've created a tutorial that you can download from my blog at designsbygloria.com and you can download it and I have the instructions to create all three of these little stove treat boxes. So there's no need to write down dimensions that I'm going to go over right now. You can just go ahead and download it. Here I'm showing, this is what I have on my um, tutorial t a template of. I just wanted to explain it a little bit. I put dashes where you need to score, and then I put a solid black line where you need to cut. So for this particular one that measures 9 by 9, which is the medium stove, we're going to score at 3 inches, at 6 inches. Then we're going to rotate score at 3 inches and 6 inches. That's it for scoring. Now for cutting, typically when we have a box, I've seen where we cut here and here and then create our box. I've done something a little bit different, which I believe is going to help you to have a sturdier box all around, not just in those two um, locations where we normally reinforce. So what you're going to do is on your sheet here, you're going to cut here. We're going to rotate it. Then we're going to cut here. We're not going to cut there. Then we're going to rotate it. We're not going to cut here. Here, you get the picture. We're going to rotate, cut only to here, to this first score line. And what that does is it gives you a four-sided, double-insulated um, box so that your box will be nice and sturdy when you go to create and stuff it with whatever goodies you have. I also have um, templates for what I'm calling the stove panel, which is this piece here. And this is for the stove door, obviously, this piece here. So, like I said, I'm going to create, uh, recreate the small one, so let's get started. I've uh, gone ahead and pre-cut and pre-scored all my pieces. So you can see here a visual of what I'm talking about. Cut here, turn, cut here, turn, cut here, turn. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get this little cutie, put them together. So what we're going to do, you can use either um, tear and tape or I like to use um, multi-purpose liquid glue. So it gives me a little wiggle time. And I'm not always the most perfect liner upper, so this gives me a little bit of time to get this evenly glued together all around. Okay, just gonna go all the way around and glue these corners. As you can see, all four sides are going to have double insulated area to make sure your stove box is nice and sturdy. Here's the last piece. Now let's make our door. I pre-cut this for you. What I used is in the center you're going to cut out a little window for your oven. And I've used the Laird Squares dies. And I just simply centered it as best I could and cut that out. When I cut this, 
I scored as indicated on my template. And instead of um, measuring and scoring, I just came across here and right on that line right there, see that little where it cross connects? All I did was come here and snip that off. And that created my little window. Then with my bone folder, I just creased these little edges here. You know what I'm going through my supplies here? I'm looking at, I forgot to cut my little window sheet, but I can add that later. You, you'll get the gist of what I'm doing here. So here's my, my little oven door. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit Tumble liquid glue. I'm not doing the best gluing job right now, but I'll go back and touch it up later. And I'm going to put that right at the edge there, making sure that I'm able to close my door. Give it a few seconds to take hold. And this will create your little oven door. There. Isn't that adorable? Then, I had my window sheet here. I show you, I just put a little bit of liquid glue there, put my window sheet in place, and that'll create my window to view inside of, inside of my oven. Now for the little top panel here, what I'm going to do is I've already cut and scored my little template, which I showed you earlier right here. And what we're going to do, this is obviously the smallest one, just cut these two little corners out and then you're going to cut wherever the bolt lines are and score on the dotted lines. So, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of liquid glue here. Hold that down. Oh, I overdid it on that one, didn't I? Hold that down. I'm wiping my hands off. It's sticky. So this rough edge here where I've glued it back is going to be the back of my stove. So what I'm going to do is tuck these two tabs in. A little glue there, a little glue there, some glue there. Cut the one that's furthest to the back down first. And then this is going to be my smooth edge side. See there's no harsh um, cuts there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue and glue the front toward the back of the stove. I'm going to do that on both sides. Tuck that in there, put a little glue. Okay. More glue. And so my raw edge is back here, and this becomes the front of my stove, and this will be the back of my stove. take my little stove here and before I put down my little panel I've cut a little piece to create kind of like the range top for my stove. I'll put a little glue there. Stick that on the top. Once I get that where I want it, I'm going to take some glue, making sure the raw edge is on the back. Add some Tombow and stick that to the top of my range. I'll hold that for a few seconds. See, just want it to be smooth up to the edge there. Hold it down. Ah. I let it go, I'm sorry. There we go. That'll dry clear. Just give it a few seconds here. Take bond. And there you have your little stove. It's that easy. Now, for the handles, I've trimmed up three pieces of a quarter inch by two and three quarter inch. Um, cardstock and I'm going to just glue these together. I should have just brought my snail. Just dropped one on the floor. 
I like the handle to be a little bit thicker. That's why I put the three together to give it a little bit more stability. Then I took, you can take the mini dimensionals, but I went ahead and used our foam adhesive strips. Just cut a little piece, added it to what I'm calling the back side of the handle, cut that off, place it on the front of my oven door. Again, I forgot to bring my piece of acetate window sheet to put in here, but you get what I'm doing. Now I want to make the eye of the stove, so I used half inch punch, four circles. Took some dimensionals. Oh, I cut some. I thought I was out of my little little minis work great for these. Four eyes. Use that eye. And just Peel that off and add it in my little eyes. On the uh, larger stoves, I use two different size of um, punches because they're a little bit bigger, so I had a little bit more room to to make my little eyes a little bit more elaborate. And there you have your little treat holder. And what I did is I used these. Um, clear faceted gems for my um, clock. I'm going to use the medium one because this is just a tiny little tiny little stove. Put it right on the center there. Oops. And then I use my rhinestones to create the little knobs for the um, Turn on and turn off the stove. You can print a little um, clock and size it to your um, stove. A lot of little things that you can do. I just think this is so cute. You give someone a little treat for their birthday, add a little cute little holder. It always makes gift giving a lot fun, more fun. And the last thing I did was Using the apron builder dies, I use this little piece here, the little glove, and I cut it out with some designer series paper. I punched a one eighth hole with the long um, handle punch, and then just attached it right here. Of course, right now when I try to make a bow on video, it's going to be not that hard. I mean, not that easy because I'm filming. But anyway, you get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Just kind of gives you a little bit of the character. Makes it cute. The little additional touches that you add to your stove will just make this special treat for anyone who receives it. And there you have it. Wouldn't it be cute with a little sentiment or something coming across? And then you just take whatever treat you want to use. Add it to the inside of your stove. Make a little coordinating card or some kind of card to go with it. And there you've got an adorable little treat. And again, the small, the medium, and the large. And this one I used a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. You could do it with designer series paper as well. Thanks so much. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, be sure and leave me a comment. Or just leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this fun little um, tutorial, this little treat box. 
and let me know if you'd be interested in anything else. I'd love to hear from you. Take care and have a blessed day.